I think the Conservative Party of Canada owes some explanations to Canadians. We've seen consistently a pattern from Conservative politicians. We've seen consistently a pattern. The scathing report about the conduct of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Canada's Ethics Commissioner has found the Prime Minister violated the Conflict of Interest Act and that he did seek to improperly influence then Attorney General and Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould to intervene in a criminal prosecution case involving SNC-Lavalin. Now the Ethics Commissioner confirms it, writing, the authority of the Prime Minister and his office was used to circumvent, undermine and ultimately attempt to discredit the decision of the Director of Public Prosecutions as well as the authority of Ms. Wilson-Raybould. She accused him and 10 others from his inner circle of a consistent and sustained effort to interfere in whether to give SNC a deferred prosecution agreement. That way the big Quebec firm could avoid a criminal prosecution on serious corruption and fraud charges. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, under investigation again for violating ethics rules, testified in his own defense today and denied he or anyone in cabinet gave preferential treatment to the WE charity. The federal government is taking more heat tonight over its handling of allegations of sexual misconduct within the military. The Liberals are now being accused of a cover-up after shutting down a House of Commons committee with no explanation. But we'll begin tonight with more government denials of political interference in the investigation into Canada's largest mass shooting. It's been six months since John McCallum was fired as Canada's ambassador to China, but he's still creating headaches for the Liberal government. Today, the Conservatives sent a letter to Canada's spy agency, CSIS, asking it to investigate things McCallum said to China. Canada's spy agency is warning that China's attempts to manipulate the media are becoming the new normal. The Canadian Security Intelligence Service raised that issue in a meeting with Prime Minister Trudeau earlier this year. We begin this hour in Ottawa, where the government is under fire from opposition and some security experts. The issue? A contract to provide and maintain RCMP communications equipment, which was awarded to a company with ties to the Chinese government. The RCMP is investigating foreign interference in Canada's affairs, including possible election meddling. New details have emerged about alleged Chinese interference in Canada's 2019 federal election. A national security memo from February of 2020. Donna, new documents obtained by Global News show the government knew about investigations into alleged Chinese interference in the 2019 election years before we previously knew. Well, I woke up to an explosive report in the Globe and Mail this morning reporting that CSIS documents viewed by the newspaper reveal China's strategy to influence the 2021 election. Beijing wanted the Liberals to be elected, but only to a minority mandate. And according to the documents, China viewed the Conservatives as too harsh on China and used disinformation campaigns against them. And their answer is all the same. Oh, we didn't know. At one point, Canadians need to stop being treated like fools. 